Hey guys, it is Monday here in West Virginia, so it's time for us to do our Mopar Monday, and we're doing that, but we're also taking a look at a few other manufacturers' cars, including Ford, Chevy, and Volkswagen. So, um, the reason being is because it came, because they came in the sealed case of green light cars, and i me move my case out of the way so I can try to get this all in the picture here. So, as you can see, green light, it's upside down, but I've split one end open already just to check it out. But this is your green light 164th Great Outdoors Series 2. And this was in a master case. Uh, the guy that I bought from on eBay... Um, just is a distributor for green light, I guess, because he just sells these great outdoors series by the box. Um, so I wanted one out of this box. It is the Ram charger, the orange lifted Ram charger, which looks really cool. Um, but everywhere I look, people wanted at least 15 or 16 bucks plus shipping. Some people 20 and 30 bucks plus shipping and, I just couldn't see paying that for one that was just released recently. And then I found this and I couldn't believe it. You can get the whole case um, shipped to your door for 40 bucks plus tax, whatever your state tax is. Here in West Virginia, it's 6%. So it was 42.40 to get a sealed case. And he also emphasizes that you do have a chance of getting a green machine or a raw, something like that in the case, because he does not open these, and sure enough, when I got it, it was sealed with the green light collectibles tape. So, today, we're going to take a look at all six of these, and as I said, I already opened it, because I wanted to see if anything was damaged, because a lot of times, the one that I want, the Ram Charger, which is right here, they screw up the way that they mount the differential. Sometimes they're crooked and it looks horrible and it's almost, it's not impossible to fix. You can fix it, but there's a chance that you'll break the plastic leaf springs and it won't set right then. So I wanted to open it and make sure that I didn't get a dud from green light because I ordered one of these before when they were only like 12 bucks plus shipping. And when I got it, it was all messed up the differential was twisted um the wheel was rubbing the rear quarter panel so i had to send it back and didn't re and i didn't reorder it's kind of disheartened with it another thing that discouraged me and i'll show you when we get it out uh is the roof but um because i was able to get the case i'm willing to overlook what they did to the roof so we'll start and look at all these ones that we're not going to crack open um then we'll go well actually since it's mopar monday you know what i'll go ahead and do the mopar first so here's the 1977 dodge ram charger se and the great outdoors series two and their series one the thing that makes them uh cool or their trademark is that they give you this tent that attaches to the car in some way shape or form um so this one has a tent that sits on the roof. That's why you have a ladder, so you can climb up and get on the roof of your vehicle. And then on the back side here, basically just tells you what's going to be in this case. In Series 2, you have 1968 Volkswagen Type 2, 1977 Dodge Ram Charger SE, 1979 Ford LTD Country Squire, 1982 Chevrolet C10 Silverado Long Wheelbase, um... 2021 Jeep Gladiator High Altitude and 2022 Ford Explorer Limited. I know I didn't say long wheelbase, but I figured I'd emphasize that it is. Uh, so, anyways, this one I've already cut open on the back side because this is the one I'm keeping. The other ones, uh, one of my buddies took most of them for the price that I paid for them, which was like seven bucks a piece. And the only one I have left is. The Ford LTD, which I will probably post it on eBay. And I'll, if I do, I'll leave the link in the description of this video. If not, you can contact me on Instagram. Same name, Ron's Muscle Car Diecast. And you can 
uh, buy from me direct. So, yeah, that's another thing. The spare tire on this one didn't attach real well, which is fine. Because it slides on and stays on pretty good once you slide it back on there. So, I really dig this truck. Love the way it sets. But, as you can see, these differentials are extra pieces added to a stock Ram Charger chassis. You probably could actually take those off and put it down to the regular ride height if you wanted to. I'm sure that the holes are probably still drilled there for the regular axle um, area. So I'm not sure on that. I was trying to look. That's why I kind of stumbled in my words there. I don't see it. It may not be drilled out, but you could with some work get it back down to the standard like two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive height so the only thing that i have against this in that great outdoor series is see the roof they drilled two holes so they could put that stupid tent on the roof i mean the tent's cool but it just kind of hurts me to see holes drilled in this because there's a lot of like Ram chargers that don't even come with a roof from green light. And the one that the last one that they did has holes drilled in it. <laughs> so that was disheartening. And another thing is that it's a little better now. I kind of try to bend it up a little bit, but this is bowed. But I looked at a couple of my other Ram chargers I got from them and they all are slightly bowed right here. Um, creating a slight gap between the roof and the windshield frame. But it's really not that big of a deal. It's not that noticeable at all. But yeah, very cool truck. Love the orange and with the white top. Looks really cool. And let's lower this down. So this is going to be the only one I'm taking out of the package to demonstrate. Because I don't know what my buddy's going to do with his. If he's going to crack them open or leave them in the package. There goes that stupid spare again. So here's your tent, made of plastic, and the ladder is taped in here. The piece of scotch tape, so don't just go pulling it, hoping it pops out, or you will probably break it. So, this has two male ends on it, and the roof, obviously, is the female ends. They were drilled out, unfortunately. So, there is the tent and i guess i don't know where this goes because i don't think it would go on this side this is the part where the this would kind of be like a luggage carrier on the roof of a vehicle and then it just pops up and tips to the right and then the tent kind of pops out so i guess this ladder would go somewhere in there like so it may attach to the tent somewhere but i don't see any little indent or ridge that that was specifically hooked to but still cool i mean it's a cool concept a cool series and the roof is removable on these ram chargers if you didn't know and that's why i have seen a lot of the green light ones and i have one that i'm going to unbox for you guys next week or maybe this week it's a green machine actually and i found it cheaper than i could find the regular one so i bought it but it's a topless ram charger and it just has a maybe like a four point or six point cage in it, um, a roll bar, uh, which is cool. But um, I would have really liked if they would give all of their Ram chargers a roof since they're all removable. I don't know why they made some with just a roll cage and no roof. I know it's a cost saver, but it kind of kills the casting that's why a lot of them that i can find for reasonable prices that don't have the roof a lot of times i pass on them because of the fact that well i would like to have a roof and have the option to display them topless or with a top so now moving forward with the ones we're not going to open all right here's the volkswagen one and it's pretty cool. Kind of painted up like a 60s hippie van, like Woodstock kind of thing. And it also has holes drilled in the roof, unfortunately, as you can see. I don't know why they did that. I would have made it where this just sits on there. Because, I mean, it's, it's going to be stationary whenever the tent's on it anyways. You're not going to be driving around with a tent on the top of your vehicle. And... 
I don't know, they just did that, they should have just made the tent to the top of the car where it wouldn't be removable at all because the holes are there, but uh, that's just my two cents. So, cool looking little van, or bus. And then next is pretty nice looking 2021 Jeep Gladiator High Altitude. Now this has the tent in the truck bed area, as you can see. Yeah, some of the ones with the tent in the trunk bed come assembled already. These ones that go on the roof are not. You'll notice that as we go along. Their Jeep Gladiators have some really fine detail on them. Side mirrors. Uh, you could see like the detail on the windshield with the trim. You have your wipers in the park position. Nice detailed factory style wheels. Detailed tail lights, headlights, grill. Very nice looking little Jeep. And then you have the Lone Survivor, or I should say just a leftover. If somebody needs this, let me know. I'll pass it on for what I paid for them, seven bucks a piece. Uh, so this is a 1979 Ford LTD Country Squire. And with the dark color yeah i could see a hole in the roof down there right above me where the passenger would be sitting that's a damn shame i don't know why they did that i know they did it to hold the tent on but it just seems crazy to do that because then you really can't display these any other way but with the tent on them uh i'm gonna try to put a luggage rack on the top of this one to cover it up but yeah Oh, well. And then moving along to the next one is the square body. And this looks pretty nice with the gray stilly type rallies. And the long wheel base allows for a really big dome tent. Pretty cool. And the one thing about the truck bed tents, I don't think they have any holes drilled in it anywhere. So, you could take the tent off and just have the factory square body or the factory Jeep. So, it looks good. It looks like a two-tone black and silver, which is a good combination. Yeah, I'm sorry about the reflection. My kid's watching TV, and it's reflecting on these glossy pics or packages. <laughs> um, and so am I. I can see my reflection there. So, anyways... This is the 82 Chevy C10 Silverado. And then the last one is a pretty nice looking Ford Explorer. 2022 Ford Explorer Limited. And yeah, it's got the holes drilled in it. It's rough too, unfortunately. That was a stupid design thing in my opinion. Nice detail on the headlights and grill. Nice detailed tail lights as you can see there. Nice factory looking wheels. Very nice looking truck. That almost looks like a green machine color, but it's not. That's just a standard run, I think. Uh, then that's pretty much it for our Great Outdoors series, guys. And we'll be back again later in the week. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be before Friday, but we're always here on Fridays for our free at Friday. And if not, um, if we find something else, we'll be back in the middle of the week. But if not, I'll see you on Friday. Enjoy your week, guys. Thanks for watching.